Well, g'day everyone. I'm Deb and this is my channel, DB Designs and Sewing Australia. Welcome back if you're already a subscriber and welcome to any new subscribers or new watchers to my channel. Now today I'm going to be showing you the Spencer Woven Pant by Stylark. So I will insert photos as we go. Um, I actually made this in a fabric from my stash and I've had that fabric for 25 years. I did about 20 years ago have a pair of high-waisted pants in this fabric and it's a, it's a beautiful Italian suiting and I did never wanted to get rid of it and when I saw the Spencer pants I thought oh, I'd really like a pair of pants with a pleat in it but not the ones with the really huge pleats in it but as it was I um, stitched down the pleats so if I made it again, which I probably will, um, I will stitch the pleats on the inside rather than top stitching them on the outside, which I did. You can see that here. It's hard to see in such a um, dark color, but it's also the pant with the little pleated edge on the pocket. And that's what attracted me to them in the first place. Uh, I omitted the cuff, so it's just got plain bottoms because I'm already short enough. So cuffed pants would just make me look shorter. So I left the cuffs off. And even then, I had to cut this much off. I made a straight size 14. And they actually fitted perfectly. I didn't want them tight around the waist because being pleated pants, I um, I knew I would actually have to tuck something in. So I'm actually really happy with it. And I absolutely love that. It's, I guess it's called piping on the edge of the pocket, but it doesn't have any cord in it like traditional type of piping does. It's just an extra piece of fabric that you sandwich in between the pocket and the pocket lining. I made a fake welt pocket on the back because I really didn't want any extra fabric on my bum. Not just on one side anyway, probably do with it on both sides, pretty flat bum. And as usual, when you're thinking about style arc patterns, the instructions are terribly scant, but the fly went in very easily. I'm not sure if it would be that great for people who'd never sewn a pair of pants before or who had not sewn a fly before. I certainly wouldn't use those instructions if I'd not sewn a fly before, I would go on YouTube and see how to sew a fly, just like you can go and see how to sew anything really. Um, so very scant instructions, you know, just the one page with 21 instructions or something like that. So you sort of do have to nut it out a bit but really very happy with the overall look of these pants. I will be inserting photos. And I must say my husband thought, mm, they look, you look really, really nice. So, hey, a compliment. And I just used a button that I already had. This is the fly and it does have all the parts to construct a fly properly. If I was going to make them out of denim, I probably would do um, two rows of stitching, but they're not really a jean. They're more of a slacks or a pants. So um, they wanted you to stitch in the ditch to do the waistband, but I hand sewed mine. So, and I don't mind the hand sewing. Seriously, it takes 10 minutes, that's all. So really, really thrilled with it and I love this fabric so I know that I'll wear it. I'm not sure what colour I'm going to be wearing with bottle green though. So that was the Spencer Pants by Stylark. 
It is a wide leg pant and I have ironed a crease in down the front, as you'll probably be able to see from the photos. But really happy overall with those pants and would certainly make them again. I would like to see them or make them in a linen, but it'd need to be a fairly weighty linen. I think a pleated pant either needs a really, it doesn't necessarily have to be a heavy fabric, but a fabric with a um, quite a drapey hand to it so that you get the effect of having pleated pants without them looking really wide and the reason I steer away from pleated pants is because I'm narrow in the hips and so I need them to drape down rather than puff out all baggy, which is why I sewed down the pleats to try and keep them, even though they're wide legs, try and keep the silhouette slimmer. And the next thing I made this week was for So Frugal 23 and today is reveal day. So I've already put my reveal up on um, Instagram. So Frugal 23 was created by Sam from Frugalistima, I think that's how you say that, and Ruan from New York, she is so girl. Now the rules are that you need to find or use a free pattern that's free to everyone. So not something that someone gave you or that the op shop said you could have or anything else so it has to be a free pattern and you have to use fabric from your stash the idea is you're not to purchase anything not any notions or buttons or zips or anything like that everything has to be what you've already got and the pattern has to be free so in actual fact all it costs you is your time and I actually chose and I don't even have a picture of it because I'm so mean that I didn't print out a picture. I only printed out the pattern and I only actually printed out the pattern. It's actually an ensemble, so it's a top and a skirt, but I just printed out the skirt pattern pieces. So it's the Aspen skirt from Mood Patterns. Mood's got some fabulous patterns on there for free. So it's a really, really good site. And I made this in this gorgeous fabric oh it looks really sparkly on screen i'll put in some photos of it and i have had this fabric for at least 15 years so i had this piece of fabric and it's actually i'm not even sure what it's made of it's certainly not made of wool and i didn't never really get the iron on it to know what it's like because it's got all these other things in it. I've pulled some of them out so you can see it. It's got like strips of what I would think is some sort of silk fabric. And these pieces and and these are multicolored. Everything's multicolored in it. And it has got sequins, so, you know, sewing over sequins does not really thrill me to bits, but I managed and I got there and it's even got like pieces of wool in it. So it's a really gorgeous fabric. And I thought if you were going to make something, I probably have got enough to make a vest. And speaking of vests, I think I've got enough of my green Italian suiting to make um, the birch vest by Pattern Scout as well. So at least the front panels, because you can always just make satin back for vests. So if I was going to do a vest in this fabric, I would underline it. So I would get some other fabric once the pieces were cutting out, cut out and sew it all to it because it's really not the most stable fabric because it's so open weave. I mean, it's fine for a skirt and this skirt is not tight by any means. It has got a gray zip because that's the only zip that I had in my stash. It has got a button I got out of my button box and 
I just made two skirts, one out of the um, top fabric and another one out of some lining that I had in sort of a hot pink colour. And I used bias binding that I'd used when I'd made um, some Christmas gifts because it was wide bias binding. I was actually looking through my stash to see if I had any um, gross grain ribbon, but I didn't really have anything that was suitable. I had some, but it was not as wide as this. And so I just stitched this on, hemmed the skirt, and I actually, I, I overlocked the edge of the skirt in fact, I overlocked everything before I even sewed it together because it was so much of a fraying mess. And hem the lining. This skirt's loose. It doesn't need a um, it doesn't need a split in it. You can walk easily in it as, because it's not a tight skirt. It's actually coming up really well on camera. Probably a little bit brighter than that, but you can see how sparkly it is with the sequins and all those different um, threads of different sorts of fabric running through it. It really is lovely. And as I said, I've had this fabric in my stash for, would be at least 15 years. I don't know where I bought it and I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it. That's what I've been doing this week made those two things and I am going to so that's what I've been doing this week and I am going to see if I can get this is the birch vest pattern by pattern scout and I am going to see if I can get a vest out of the fabric I've got left because what I was using in the first place was a remnant anyway. And I have got some fabric left. And that's probably going to be enough to get the, the, the four front panels for the vest. So I don't know what colour lining I would use with it. I probably got, have got some black satin lining, but it makes it all very, very dark. And if I was going to buy some really nice lining fabric, I really would need to take the fabric with me and go to the shop. And I don't think Spotlight have got very good lining fabric. And I meant like an embossed type of lining fabric that you might get in a man's vest. That's the sort of thing I was thinking for, for the back of it. Um, it doesn't have a belt on the back, you can see from the line drawing. And it's really all princess seams, which means that you can get a very nice fit princess seams. So I will see how that goes. And the other thing I was going to make was hopefully make a mock-up of a shirt for my husband if he can stand still long enough to get measured. So I was thinking that I may be able to get that done this week, but I keep on seeing more things and I've just got two lots of fabric washed and selfishly probably want to make them for myself. I will be doing the sew blouse for April. I haven't decided what blouse I'm making yet um, or what fabric I'm using. I have to use something from my stash. It's going to be a rule. And then after that, I probably do need to get started on my society dress because I think that's the very beginning of May that I'll be needing to wear that. So. Hopefully, I'll get a fair bit done this week. It is going to be Easter, and I think I'm. My grandchildren are coming on Good Friday and going home on Easter Saturday. On Easter Sunday, we're going to my sister's for my dad's 95th birthday. 
and on Easter Monday I'm going to the Alexander McQueen exhibition with my eldest daughter Lucy. So that should be fabulous. I'll see you all next week. Bye.